Okay, so I did a video for the Mac about how to verify the authenticity of your downloaded ISOs with a SHA SUM command, and I'm going to do the same thing for Windows here. So we're just going to find our 64 bit version of 18.1 Serena, go to verify for the authenticity, and choose our version as 18.1. In here, we're going to click the SHA 256 SUM text file, and this is the key that we're going to be looking for B99F4 B98 all the way through to 51009E3C. There's actually quite a handy little tool within Windows called CertUtil, which we can use to do this. And we're just gonna drag our ISO files in here to populate the path. And at the end, we're gonna specify our SHA value of 256. Okay, that's going to run and give us our hash value. And just to stretch out, we can see B99F4B98A1 going through 51009E3C. That is exactly the same key that we have here. So we know this is authentic. And again, we can do this with any one of our ISOs. We can just remove this and then change the path to give us, for example, our Kali ISO. Verifying Kali will be very important. Again, don't forget to specify the SHA value at the end, which here is 256. There we go. That will take a few seconds and give us a value for Kali, and we can check that on the official Kali page and make sure that everything we have here is completely authentic and ready to go. There we go. The SHA 256 value for our Kali ISO. So again, we check that on the website, make sure it was okay, everything validated, we'd be good to go.